Going green just got a bit exciting as India's first wholly indigenized electric motorcycle has arrived on Republic Day 2022. Welcome to Talk Kratos and the Talk Kratos R. Yes, there's an R version too. Prices for the two motorcycles are on your screen right now. And stick around to know how you can get it for a much lesser price as well. But before we go ahead, stay subscribed and notified to Zigwheels for more interesting two-wheeler content. Talk has tried to keep some of its sporty genes intact with the Kratos. You do get hints of the TVS Apache RTR and the Hero Extreme 160R on the Kratos. The bike looks properly striking with a narrow face and edgy body language. The body panels flow neatly from the sharp tack extensions to the sleek tail. And we particularly like the addition of the small shrouds surrounding the battery. The Kratos has LED lighting all around. The bikini fairing surrounding the LED face has hints of the new Pulsar design language. But on the whole, the bike looks pretty sporty. Torque prides itself on building the entirety of its motorcycle and components in-house. Take the motor. It is built with actual flux technology and has an efficiency rating of 96%. Now regular motors have an efficiency rating of 90%. By using this tech, the torque motor is not only more efficient, but it is claimed to offer more sustained performance for a longer duration. Coming to the specs, the 4 kW motor has a peak power rating of 7.5 kW making it the most powerful motorcycle on sale in the country. With 28nm of instantaneous torque, the Kratos can clock a 0 to 40 kmph acceleration time of 4 seconds and a top speed of 100 kmph. There are three riding modes of the Kratos, Eco, City and Sport, with Eco being the dullest and Sports being the most performance oriented mode. Then there's the battery. A die cast aluminum casing stores the cells which have a combined capacity of 4 kWh. While the Indian driving cycle range is 180km, talk states that the real-world range of the Kratos is around 120km in Eco mode, which is good for most commutes. In City mode, the Kratos can do 100km, while in Sport mode, the range drops to 70km. For the Kratos, Talk will be providing a portable home charger that you can plug into a 5-amp socket and a full charge will take around 4-5 to five hours. The battery isn't removable, but it has an IP67 rating, making it fit to be used in varied riding scenarios. The Kratos has a full digital TFT screen. It isn't a touchscreen, but it has the usual smattering of smart connectivity features that can be controlled via a dedicated app. You get in-app navigation, ride data statistics, charging statistics, and a remote charging indicator. OTA updates will be provided for the essential working of the Kratos. Torque has developed a split tubular chromoly steel chassis from the ground up. With a light curb weight, low seat height, low mounted battery and the trellis frame, the Torque promises to be an easy handler for commutes or for cornering. This chassis is sprung by a telescopic fork and preload adjustable monoshock. The unique Y-shaped, six-spoke, 17-inch alloy rims come wrapped in tubeless tires. You get disc brakes at both ends of the bike for added safety, but it sadly only gets CBS and not ABS. Torque also has a sportier R variant of the Kratos, which has more performance on tap, but doesn't compromise on range. On the R, the motor has a continuous power rating of 4.5 kW with a peak rating of 9 kW. The torque is also bumped up to 38 nm. Plus, the R has a track riding mode that dials up the juices to the max, and hence it is quicker and faster than the standard version. Also, while on paper it might seem like the two bikes are running the same battery packs, that isn't quite the case. To make sure that the Kratos R manages to achieve the same range figures as the standard model, Torque has used more advanced cells with a higher discharge rate. This allows for more performance and unlocks fast charging capabilities. Yes, the Kratos R gets fast charging, not the standard version. Now, just like the Aether and the Olar, Torque will also be setting up its own fast charging network called T-Net. Via the fast charger, the battery can be charged from 0 to 80% in just 60 minutes. Torque will provide the fast charging service at no additional cost for the next two years. These fast chargers will be set up in the cities the company will be operating in 
and will also be found at places where riders would usually end up travelling on a weekend. Like for Pune owners, the T-Net will be present at Lonavla and Lavasa. Plus, there is a track analytics mode where one can check out their lean angles and a few other track riding related data. Lastly, OT updates will be more comprehensive and unlock more features. The Talk Kratos has gone on sale in 6 cities with prices starting at Rs 1,32,499 while the Kratos R cost 1,47,499. These are ex showroom prices with the fame to subsidies of Rs 60,000 accounted for. After state wise subsidies, prices for the two can go down further. And here are the estimated prices of the two on your screens. As for servicing and maintenance, Talk will offer doorstep servicing called Pit Crew Services and more details on this will be revealed shortly. So that's all you need to know on the new Talk Kratos. We should be riding the bike soon, so drop your queries on this new electric bike in the comment section and we hope to answer them in our review video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe and notification buttons. We will be back with something interesting very soon. So stay tuned for more exciting two-wheeler action here on Zigwheels. This is Jehan signing off. Thank you for watching.